I never went through a girls or icky phase, so I was a young tater thought on the inside, but a complete dork to everyone else. It all changed when one girl decided she was going to make me her charity project for the year. Trash to Peace Theater, the Kenya Experiment. It was the end of the 80s. Big Daddy Kane was bagging people's mamas and New Edition was holding shallow drawings accountable. I found myself in a new school in a new neighborhood, South Philly. The new spot was awkward since I ain't know nobody and nobody was trying to get to know me. South Philly girls was just different. I had an arsenal of flirtations that used to get me to young baddies in North, but none of that worked at my new school. I mean, none of it really worked at your old school either. Shut the f*** up. Jones was curving me with the precision and righteousness that they should have been curving my corny ass with. I had a reputation for being a bit dorky. Still do. I focused and got on the honor roll since I had no South Philly baddies checking for me because I was a nerd. Not this trope again. It had nothing to do with you being a nerd. They weren't checking for you because your self-esteem was lower than well shit and you had no style. Yo, aren't you gonna say something? I mean, when he's right, he's right. I hate both of you. When folks found out that I was on the honor roll, John started asking me to help them. One of them was Kenya. Kenya was in the seventh grade, but she was supposed to be in the eighth. She was tall, pretty, and had all the flyers, clothes, and accessories since her brothers were big time drug dealers. Stop snitching! Fine. Her brothers were pharmaceutical hedge fund managers from the projects. Every boy in the school wanted to be with Kenya and every girl wanted to be like her. But with her bad grades, she was in danger of having to go to summer school and was prohibited from going to the spring trip to New York. She begged me to tutor her. And by bag, he means she batted her eyes, asked nicely, and he exuberantly agreed. Sounds about right. We'd sit in classrooms after school and go over what we learned that day, but she could never focus. It just never landed. But what we noticed was when we walked home and discussed the same things, it was easier for her to remember. After school, the day before tests, we link up and walk around the hallways to study. After discovering her learning style, her test scores got better and her grades went way up. And I can't even take the credit. I was just there when she learned to learn differently. As the year wound down and with summer school no longer looming, Kenya was able to comfortably go on the school trip to New York that we all had anticipated. When we got to South Street Seaport, she saw me chilling by myself and walked up to me. It's so nice out here. Why aren't you walking around with any girls? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm chilling. Just enjoying the quiet. Also known as no John wanted to spend the day with you. Yeah, because I was a nerd. No. It's because you look like you got jumped in Kmart. Kenya must have peeped game. I'm about to get you every girl in school. Watch this. We walked in the gift shop where she bought herself a whole bunch of stuff. Give these to me when people from school walk by. I was confused. But when some girls from school walked by, handed her back her stuff and Kenya made a big scene. Oh my God. I can't believe you'd surprise me like this. You are the best boyfriend ever. Wait, she pulled a can't buy me love? Yup. Nice. Jones was wild confused. When they start going together, what does Kenya even see in him? I mean, he is kind of cute. We repeated it over and over again. She always made sure it was an audience with different girls too. We walked around like we were in love and everyone took notice. When we got back on the bus, before falling asleep on my shoulder, she whispered, You gonna get all the girls now. Watch. Monday came and Kenya's brilliant ass spent the morning spreading the word that I was way too much for her to handle. She also said that I was a sweet guy and let her down softly. So not only did they think I was balling, <laughs> you weren't. They also thought I was a kind sweetheart. Eh. She told other girls to take a shot with me, that maybe they would fare better. So many girls asked for my number after that. Not because they wanted me. They just wanted to measure up against Kenya. And I was cool with that. Even during the summer, I was bagging all the cutest young tweens. 
I was getting all the French kisses under the sliding board. The following year, I transferred again to a different school, so I haven't seen Kenya since. But wherever she is, thank you for helping out a young budding trash whisperer. So wait, are you saying Kenya was the genesis to your fuck niggardry? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, it does kind of sound like that. No, she boosted my self-esteem. It made you think you were cute, which gave you confidence to juggle multiple joints at a time. No, no. No? Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's how I heard it. Where the hell did you come from? Ha, my child. Future is omnipresent. Either way, thank you, Kenya, for that glorious scene in New York. I wouldn't be half the man, fuck boy, I am today without you. Thank you for watching Trash to Peace Theater. I hope you enjoyed this, John. If you're new, go catch some of the older episodes. If you want to support the channel, you can join the Patreon, drop a dollar or ten into the Cash App, or just hit the like button and leave a comment. All of the above helps.